I think we'll get started. I want to thank everybody for joining us today. Um, I want to talk to you about how you can leverage cloud bursting to drive down IT costs. You know, there's a lot of talk these days about um, different ways to approach the cloud, what you can do with it. Um, you know, and I, and I think, um, you know, a lot of people are defining it in a variety of different ways. You know, what is the cloud? How do I use it? Why is it good? What are my concerns, et cetera? And so uh, what I really want to do is kind of go through it from um, what we're seeing as, you know, how you can leverage it today and how you could potentially leverage cloud, um, you know, even this year, just further down the road. So I think it's important really to just define what the cloud is. I think, you know, most people on here have an opinion of what the cloud is. So this is really just my definition of what the cloud is, um, uh, just for the context of this conversation. So really what the cloud is, is it's giving an easy way to access IT services on demand, right? You want that to be as um, transparent as possible, right, so that when you need something, there's as, as few steps or as few clicks as possible, um, you have those services ready and available to you for whatever you, for whatever you need them for. Um, the nice thing is is that it's massively scalable. So what, where that's really nice is, um, you know, as a cus company gets smaller, they have a lot more restrictions on how they can scale their business, right? And um, sometimes they tend to use hardware probably a little bit longer than they, they maybe should before upgrading. And the nice thing about um, leveraging cloud environment um, is that they're able to, usually for the same amount of um, money, get a lot more scalable and more elastic environment. It's utility driven, pay as you go, so that's a nice way, you know, people, after 2009, people are, are trying to hang on to a lot more of their cash, um, and so the pay as you go model is very attractive for a lot of people. And there's a couple ways you can get to it. Most people access it via the internet, right, and usually, um, you know, it's public, but, um, you know, you wrap it around like a VPN tunnel or SSL VPN, some way to get secure access to it. You know, or some other kind of WAN where you've got a connection to the cloud, but it's more secure. And that's usually if um, if that cloud is a bigger part of your IT infrastructure. Um, and the nice thing about the cloud is that you know it's you can build it so that um, you can leverage it across a wider customer base. So you know, multiple people can access that same cloud, get that scalability. So what is cloud bursting? You know, how does that tie into it? So that the reason I define the cloud to begin with is um, to define cloud bursting. And it's actually um, kind of a simple concept if you think about it. You know, you, you have your, your business running there, and, um, you know, let's say some of your servers are getting taxed. They're near, you know, they, they're near the end of their life, or maybe they t tend to do fine most of the time, but then there are times when they need additional resources, right? And uh, rather than go out and buy additional hardware, additional software for something that may remain idle or near idle for 90% of the time, um, spin it up in, in a cloud somewhere, right? Have the thing, have that application, that service, that server, whatever, just running on a VM in the cloud. So, great, that sounds good, right? Pretty simple. How do I get there? Well, you're really creating, recreating the services at the cloud site, you know, as you need them. You get there, um, first of all, Virtualization has really got a great foundation for making cloud, um, you know, where it is today. So, you know, a lot of people, they think virtualization, they think of VMs. But, you know, VPNs have been around for a while. And now we're starting to see, you know, virtual storage as well. So it's all about being virtual, right? And, and that's the whole concept of the cloud is that your actual, your IT can be virtual doesn't have to be on site anymore. You don't need to be able to see your infrastructure. Um, you just need to be able to connect to it. Um, but the other piece of it is that, you know, a cloud in and of itself does not make a business uh, productive. You need that company's information in the cloud. And the most common way to do that is through asynchronous replication. 